Is everybody ready to party? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Iola and welcome back to Vampire Masquerade's Let's Play. Let's get to it. see from this is a wolfie up here if we get closer to him he will run away run away look over there where i think i played this game about five or six times before i saw that wolf and i was like oh my god because by that point i obviously knew what the whole wolf thing was about so i was like oh that's so cool and it makes sense now because when you bump into the wolf there are some things said that don't really make sense uh, but then all of a sudden I was like that makes sense now. I'm going to take you into the arcade because we have some classic games in here going on. We've got Call of Duty as well. I don't know which Call of Duty that would have been if you're a Call of Duty fan. Which Call of Duty is it? I don't know. And obviously we have good old Rampage now here is the chewing gum. This is where you get the chewing gum from. You know, you, you told the uh, the gullible guy on the beach that you could get some rubber to get erode his fangs. And this is basically where you get that from. So now there is obviously the reason. The whole reason we came up here was because of this guy. This is the sort of extension to that carnival of horrors mission that you got was to go and investigate the pier so we've been and seen the murder up close now. See all of the freaking tape, the telegraph lines, everything's like woo, it's like one of those uh, uh, things outside a car dealership. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go back to speak to this guy and have some fun with him. <laughs> All right. Now, obviously, the steak and the chewing gum are two things. You're probably thinking, what about the unicorn blood? It's basically, remember we picked the blood packs up in our haven before we left? That's what we're gonna use this for. Now, let's just go through our log. You pick up so many missions, it's good to refer back to your log quite often. We've seen the bloody murder on the pier. We've got the astrolite, we spoke to Ian, picked up a mission about finding out and learning about thin bloods, and uh, we've got this mission, Daydream Believer, and a uh, homecoming queen, uh, selling him what he wants can make you some money, so that's what we're about to do now. Hello dude. Do you have any of those items you mentioned? I've just noticed there's an intimidation option here, which I've never ever seen before. You have to be strategic in which one you give him first, because if you give him the steak first, he will just be like, thanks, and he'll run off to kill the head vampire, or who he thinks is a head vampire, and uh, he won't be able to sell him the other stuff, so. But as we have this intimidation option, which sounds like it will work a treat, I recommend you give me the moolah for the magic. In advance. Uh, okay, I guess. Here. A fool is better left broke. Oh well. Fucking mayhem, bro. <laughs> oh, so oh, that's so cool. I've never done that before. So usually, um, I would sell him the unicorn blood. I would sell him the chewing gum, and then I would give him the steak, and he'd be like, "Who's the head vampire?" And you can either send him to kill. LaCroix, obviously he fails. Uh, send him to kill Nines Rodriguez, who, if you remember from the opening cutscene of the game, is the guy that stands up in the courtroom. All I'm saying is that he better not do it. Or you can send him to kill the president, which... I mean, some of you may be like, that's the option I would pick. Um, you lose humanity for that one, but it's funny. 
Um, I think you get a masquerade violation for that one as well. But um, I've never noticed, I, I've never known before that if you use, a, I've never seen the intimidation option before. So I've never used it before. So I used it and I basically just got him to do what I was taking the Mikado Mercurio video, which is pay me up front before getting his items and then be like, thanks. <laughs> Which is just a good life, le life lesson, guys. Don't ever pay someone up front. Hope they don't find See if we can... We can definitely talk to them again. You can talk to all of them pretty much non-stop. But they'll pretty much repeat whatever they have to say. So let's see if we can do anything else. Um, I kind of need the money I gave you. The time grows as thin as your blood. Farewell. Oh, so he basically Hope just like... Here. Give me my money back! <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. And now I'll be honest, I'm playing slightly different. I said that as if it was going to be a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm playing slightly different because usually, like I said, because I like to play that very manipulative sort of way of being everybody's best friend till I'm not. Um, like I usually give Mercurio his money back and just all sorts of stuff. Uh, I usually take pity on that guy to be fair and I'm just kind of like sorry dude there's no cure for what we have like my heart goes out to you. Um, Trust me. But this time I've decided to be a little bit more cutthroat. I think because I'm Mount Cavian as well, I just felt like I could get away with it a bit more. <laughs> right, now here's the hospital. If you go to the front of the hospital, the first time you do it, you will come across. Hey, how's it going, girl? I seek the vault of gold. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Patricia. <laughs> Did I say something? There you go, oh, man. <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? How did you see my bloody little secret? Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh, man, this is great! And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man! <laughs> Are you also a knight's child? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago, when this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. <laughs> ghoulish is as ghoulish. Wait, what's a ghoul? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood the human gains a little vampire power can heal up quick and that kind of stuff jeez oh man then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out so basically he's a ghoul just like my curio is what creature spawned you golden ghoul oh man i really wish i could tell you but i don't think i'm supposed to but it's really cool to be talking to you just well because i don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires oh man well other than my master, so I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? What's up? Are you happy, little golden ghoul? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh man, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Never floats your boat, you know what I mean? Only he does not seem perturbed in the slightest that I am Malkavian. What makes your life move today? Well, look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! Ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> I have already vacated the building. Now, with him, he can be a little... 
little sensitive. He's a sensitive soul. Is why are you knocking the door of a hospital, dude? Just freaking walk in. He can be a sensitive soul, can I, Knox? If you are not extremely careful with Knox, he, you just say one wrong thing to him and he's just like, well, fuck you then. And uh, he pretty much refuses to speak to you ever again. And uh, which sucks because he has a mission that although it's a side mission, it's pretty, um, it's pretty big. Uh, I say big, it's a medium sized, but it, has a lot of interesting um, information in it and law and uh, yeah it's, it's it's just pretty cool to do and um, it's difficult though it is a bit difficult so I mean if you want to just piss Nox off and, and be like whatever uh, do that but I generally because I want the mission try not to piss Nox off I move my camera down because I seem to be wilting and you're losing me. <laughs> right, we've come into the hospital because I'm going to pick up those painkillers for Mercurio before we go back to him. Um, if you try and just walk round, she will stop you because the hospital, like, you can't just walk around. So you can go speak to her and you convince her that you're allowed to be here. Come here. Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. Uh, sorry, I'm laughing because you'll be seeing me beyond sight. It's quite funny. But, um, this number two option, the spider's web of computation needs repair, so I am here. Um, that's actually in relation to a mission you get a little bit later on. Uh, so I shouldn't be seeing that option yet. But it is helpful in that mission later on, so it's the one I'm going to pick. The spider's web of computation needs repair, so I am here! What the hell? hell are you blabbering about? Go over there and wait your turn to be seen, please. What the hell? Web? Y you mean our network? What about it? Your driver complex has a security naggle in the IP routing matrix. Fine, whatever. Here's the key for the second floor. Stairs are down the hall. Tell the guard upstairs you're here to work on the network. The lost are those that cannot see. I love how, as a Mulcavian, you kind of can blag your way through, like, scientific or computer jobs because, well, you, you talk in word salad and they get confused and be like, well, they must know what they're on about because they're saying all this stuff and you're just like, see? It helps. Right, now, if you go into room one, if you pick room one, you can uh, do something that at the time feels really significant. Love you. Trust me. They love me. Trust you. Okay. I'm not gonna say it. Uh, uh, please get a doctor. The broken will be mended. Uh, now you head, used to just straight up keep talking so to her, bad. but um. Now they've added this thing in where you can go speak to the doctor. Nurse, I'll be in. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. A sanity little, uh, a saintly little morsel is teetering on death's ray's edge. Uh, uh, are you sure you're in the right place? Psychiatrics are on the third floor. My vision is as clear as the mark muddled rainwater. I have no idea what you're talking about. And to be honest, I don't have time to figure it out. I'm the only doctor here right now, and we have twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. But the little angel is sliding further into the great black abyss. Listen, I think you're telling me about that girl over there, and I hear you. But right now, I have a man with a bullet hole in his head, and he needs me more than she does. Just stay with her and make sure she doesn't go into shock, and I'll be there soon. Okay. Nurse. He's about... got a bullet hole in his head and he's in just like a regular oh, freaking examination it? room. Like, yeah, dude, what you gonna do there? Is that like it's supposed to be a pacemaker or something? I don't get it. Someone's obviously lost some fingers. Ooh, looks like that's supposed to mimic some sort of arthritis. And clearly a broken bone in the arm. 
my husband would be able to tell you what particular bone that is. I can't. Okay. I'm here! Let me talk to you. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? Don't go before I rescue you. <laughs> rescue? Oh my god, I keep fumbling these lines. Give me a minute. Don't go before I rescue you. <laughs> god, it's a good job I'm not an actress, isn't it? Don't go before I rescue you, little morsel. Okay, we can walk in ground. I'm not gonna lie, love, like, even for a computer generated character, you look like you're lying about being ill and have just kind of slathered some blood on yourself and got into the hospital and been like, oh, I'm lying! When in actual fact, you're just a bit of a hypochondriac. Taste my blood and be mine. That was, that was all done through Reiki or some good shit. Because no one ever actually touched anyone. Your flesh mends. You, who, who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? Words would be a perilous poison. Farewell. So that is the end of this episode and we are a good few episodes into this Let's Play now and some of you might be thinking we're about halfway through or something. Oh god no. The game is just so diverse and there's so many missions to do and it's so sort of dense to do. Um, and I really want to, I don't see the point in doing a Let's Play and rushing through everything and not really giving you guys chance to really get a feel for the game. Um, obviously I'm leaving little bits out because I want you to, not bits of mission or, or gameplay, but just little fun quirky bits. Like I'm not reading every single email and things on the computers and stuff like that. I want you guys to really be able to uh, experience and enjoy that for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and as always, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, because I really want to know we're so far into this let's play at this moment. Um, we're pretty much halfway through Santa Monica, more or less, and I really want to hear feedback from you guys of, you know, how you're finding it. What have your favourite parts been so far of the game, of the let's play, if it was not necessarily the game, but some what I did. Um, how interesting are you finding it? Are you finding the game really interesting? I just, I, I, I thrive off hearing what you guys have to say about the game. And uh, it's, it's a game I love. It's something I love. So I really thrive as well off just getting to talk to other people about this game that I have been obsessed with for so many years. Thank you for watching everybody and love you all loads. Thank you so much for being here with me and for just basking in my craziness and the joy that is Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines. And I really hope, really hope, I will see you all on the next Let's Play.